respectful, a person of integrity, and a caring and honest person. Who can tell me about their dreams for the world writing assignment? My dream for the world is that nobody will litter, people will be nice and fair to each other, no more wars robbing and calling people names. And my dream is everyone will be kind and happy and to make the world a better place. Because the students spend so much time here in school, we want to ensure that they get the support they need to reach their full potential. We started a very humble school with five children in my garage. Today those five children are doing amazingly well. One of them works at DreamWorks. One of them is with Marriott International. One of them is a successful fabric designer. One of them is a human services caseworker. And one of them works at UC Berkeley in the Office of Undergraduate Advising. When I see them graduate from great universities, it's so rewarding to think that we had a, a, an opportunity to contribute to that. Our idea here is each child has some unique genius, and the staff are all united in their desire to help develop that. My name's Diego. I will graduate in 2017. My name's Mateo. I will graduate in 2018. This school is special because the teachers here are really nice and our friends are so good to us and like they treat us so well and it makes us feel like it's our family. And we learned how to greet people. If there's a new kid at school, we would always play with him. Yeah. Like this year there was new kids and now they're like our friends, like Felix. Yeah. It's important to have character education because for when you grow up, when you learn how to be nice, people would want to be your friend and then you won't have a hard life and all like fighting and all that. This is my family and they all go to the principal academy. The cousins are related to their moms and then their moms <laughs> are my aunties. I pretty much like everything. I mean, uh, I like that the classes are small and uh, you know, so they get more attention. What I really liked was walking into the classroom and seeing all the diversity of all the different children. That same respect, that same love, that same comfort that you have with a family member, that's what the students have with each other. And that's like amazing because that's like creating those lifelong relationships. My name is Sheree and I graduated from the Principal Academy in 2008. I lived in Jamaica until I was 13. When I was in seventh grade, I, I didn't have a math or a science teacher for a while, so that really held me back. My brother passed away. He was just sitting with his friends and a group of people just drove by and he got shot. And um, yeah, my mom wanted us, she wanted to get us out of there. My sister was trying to find a school that would give me an I-20 so that I would be able to go to school on a student visa. And um, she went to a lot of schools and most of them denied her. She found the Principal Academy. Everything just changed in a second. Mrs. Sarah and Dr. Durst, they really did believe in me and that, that helped a lot. Dr. Durst called me Madame Prime Minister. He would tell me that I could be anything that I wanted to be. So that, that was, it, it really inspired me to actually want things in life and go after them. I had such a positive experience here at the Principal Academy. My sister really wanted my nephews to come here. I think the Principal Academy gave me life. It was where I figured out the type of person I wanted to be. I'm a first year student at Chabot College. I'm going to transfer to a four year school and get a bachelor's in psychology. That's my way of helping people. There's a lot of people in the world who need help. And sometimes it just takes one person to, you know, make the future brighter. My name is Tyler and I am gonna graduate this year. I had obsessive compulsive disorder. My parents would come in and see me do my homework and they would find balls of paper on the ground and when they would open it up, they see it, it would be the same assignment, just done over and over again. Other people, 
I, I knew at my old school didn't, didn't have any of this problem. So I, I felt that um, I would be the only person in the classroom who had this disorder. It was heartbreaking. It was horrible to watch your child go through something like that. It's just, it's indescribable. We really just felt like he needed a change. When I got to the Principal Academy, the teachers were kind of understanding. Like if I didn't turn in this on time, I was able to tell them and they would say, okay, well, you can turn it in the next day. It wasn't just about the education because that's part of school, but it was also about the community aspect. It's just as important to be kind, loving to other people. That's really what pulled us in. We knew that's the environment that he needed to be in if he was going to get through his problem. I feel that the Principal at Academy really um, helped me overcome my OCD and help me um, finish my homework and it really made me a better person. They never treated him like there was any option of failing. He started to get his confidence back, definitely. We noticed that immediately. He didn't feel like an oddball or, or an outcast. He felt very welcomed by all the kids. Now he's a 4.0 student. And to have him be able to take his life back in his own hands, it's been amazing. I feel great after coming to this school. I felt that it um, had a great impact on my life. He went from saying, I'm going to fail, I'm stupid, to doing the same work as, as the other students. The feeling is just amazing. He's, he's, he's back. I don't think that any of this would have happened without the school. I feel like a good school can really help transform a child's life. And I feel so privileged to have been part of that process for so many kids.